Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Recipe for Disaster Freeing Pirate Pete. There are no quest requirements and the only stat requirement is 31 cooking, but if you are an Iron Man and you need to make the empty fishbowl yourself, you will also need to have 42 crafting. So for the items needed, besides the empty fishbowl, are 3 bronze wires, a needle, a pestle and mortar, a knife, between 1 and 5 raw cuts, as well as between 1 and 5 loaves of bread, depending on your cooking level. And also, you need to check that your weight is currently below 12 kilograms. So the next one is pretty obvious. For the recommended items, is some weight reducing gear, and also some food, armor and weapon to kill 5 monsters of around combat 30, as well as a combat 22, who you will need to defeat between 1 and 5 times, once again, depending on your cooking level. Now, once again, depending on your cooking level, you will also need to have between 2 and 10 empty inventory slots. If you have 31 cooking, then I suggest you to deposit your cod and your bread in your bank, because you will only need it at the very end of the quest anyway. So, for the teleports, 1 to Port Cazard, I will be using the Fishing Trawler minigame, and then one back to Lumbridge to complete our quest. So let's go and inspect Pirate Pete. And after this conversation is over, we will need to go through the southern door to talk to the Lumbridge cook. Be sure to click on the barrier. So let's talk to the cook and select option three. Next, you will need to wait for about 1 or 2 seconds, and then we will need to select a whole bunch of numbers. Basically, we have to go through every single dialogue, so let's select option 1, then 1 again, then 2, 3, and then 4. And that is basically it. Yes, thank you. And now we'll need to go to Port Cazard. I will be using my fishing trawler minigame teleport since I have 15 or 10 fishing. I think 15. So once here at fishing trawler, let's talk to Murphy and select option one. Alright, let's talk to him once again, select option 1 and he will give you some diving equipment. Let's equip this. The fishbowl weighs 5 kilograms and the diving apparatus weighs 10. So 15 plus your current maximum of 12, your current weight needs to be at least 27 or lower. Because my inventory is pretty clogged up, I'm gonna deposit a couple of things, for example, my bread and my cod. You just need it at the end of the quest anyway. Uh, four tuna should be enough to kill the five comma thirty. So let's talk to Murphy and select option one twice. And let's go diving. Once you dove down, let's go a bit north until you see some kelp, which is a green plant. Pick some kelp. Depending on your cooking level, you need more than one. So I'm gonna be picking... Well, I bought five raw cod, so I'm gonna be picking five kelp. And then let's continue north. Go north until you see a couple of yellow dots. One of these yellow dots is called Nung. We will need to talk to him. After this conversation is over, we will need to go west. Right, let's go west. And you should see a couple of red dots on your minimap. Those are rocks. We will need to pick up five of them. Mm. Mm. 
machine. And that is five. Let's now enter the underwater cavern entrance. Equip our weaponry as well as maybe our boots. And let's kill five mudskippers. It doesn't matter the small ones or the big ones. They both drop the same thing, which are mudskipper heights. And we will need to have five of those things. Alright, this went much faster than last time. Once you've picked up your fifth Mudskipper height, let's exit. And let's now go back to Nung to talk to him twice. <gasps> My prayer points, ah, uh, whatever. He will take the five mudskipper heights and now he will ask for three bronze wires and a needle. Since you already have it in your inventory, let's talk to him once again and he will allow you access into the crab pen. So let's enter the crab pen. Once again, equip your weapon and kill between 1 and 5 crabs. Doesn't matter which one, the smaller and the bigger ones both drop the crab meat, which you need between 1 and 5 of, depending on your cooking level. But the bigger ones have a higher drop rate of dropping their shell as well as their claw. Oh my god, I got both of them on the first kill. Holy shit. Apparently the drop rate of the smaller ones is 1 in 8. And apparently the drop rate of the bigger ones are 1 in 4. And I have no idea why I keep getting them on my first kill. Alright, this is crap meat number 5. Let's do not mind Murphy and let's just teleport to Lumbridge to complete our quest. But first we will need to make our fish cake. So, I'm going back to the bank and grab and grab my banked cod as well as bread. There we go. Right, since I have all the ingredients, let's use our knife on the bread to make breadcrumbs. Then use our pestle and mortar. I'm gonna do that in the kitchen. And use our pestle and mortar on literally everything else. The crab meat, the kelp, as well as the cod. What else do we need? This, all right. Then once you're done, let's talk to the cook and select option three once again to talk about pirate beat 
And now the only thing you need to do is use one ingredient on any of the other to make fish cakes. But this is raw and we need to cook it. And this is the most fun part of the quest. Let's use it on the cooking range. And hopefully you don't burn any burnt one. Cooked. Cool. Alright, this is the quest completed. Once you have one successful cooked one, let's use this on Pirate Pete. Am I stuck? Okay. And congratulations, you have freed Pirate Pete. You are awarded with one quest point, 1000 cooking, fishing, smithing and crafting experience, access to the Mogul camp, as well as increased access to the Kalinoromancer's chest. Also, you now have the ability to fight crabs for their shell as well as their claw. Once you've obtained one of these items, you simply need to use a chisel on them to craft them into a crab helmet, if you succeed at least, as well as in a crab claw, which looks like this. Also, you've now completed a quest requirement for the Great Brain Robbery. Alright, this was my quick guide how to free Pirate Pete. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.